Hello. Grab all the bikinis. Oh my God. I want them all. I want them all. I want them all. I want them all. Bikinis. All the bikinis. All the bikinis. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katana Prokosh and I am the owner and designer of Battleborn Bikinis and Zozo B competition suits. That you all would like to see outfit of choice today. So this is just a little baby blue um, ripped sweater that is kind of popular. I have it in like eight colors. Um, of course, it's paired with a yellow mustard yellow bralette because it is fall so it's still kind of warm still kind of chilly in the mornings so this is my bralette from victoria's secret and my leggings i forgot where i got these maybe old navy so outfit of choice today before I try on all the swimsuits. I just thought you would like a little glimpse at what I was wearing. <laughs> this is my storefront retail shop boutique that I have here in Reno, Nevada. One street down from South Virginia, which is kind of a main strip for the Reno area. So these are all my regular swimsuits over here. I'm gonna kind of walk backwards um, for good lighting. And this is the corner for Zozabi competition suits. And then I have my corner with my children's swim. Now we just launched um, fitness line. So up here we have some samples of our fitness line and we are also launching men's. However, with COVID and going into a new year, I would like to push a lot more stuff. Also with the location, swim is our slower season stuff. And we're going into fall, it's now October. So to sell some of that fitness stuff year round, some cute like little sweaters. Um, I don't wanna become a full boutique. Um, I don't for one have the space for it, um, but I would, I started selling skirts that go over your um, bathing suits here that you can purchase throughout the year, even when it is not swimsuit season locally. But we also have a, um, huge online presence which is our online store you can purchase no matter if you're in florida san diego all over the world you can purchase all year long so not only do we cater locally but because you can purchase all year long we have to obviously keep our swimsuits still um in stock lake tahoe print and my nevada collection right here I wanted to do a little try on for you guys i have um a handful of new pieces because and we have another booth this weekend at the legion sports fest and that's what kind of brought me um to bring in the leggings and stuff was for legion sports fest um well i don't do them <laughs> i make the swimsuits i make the bikinis for the bikini comp competitors so um we will have a booth a vendor booth this weekend at the legion sports fest and so i have some new items that i would like to um show you and see what they look like on my winter COVID quarantine body. <laughs> so let's get to it. Okay, this is a crap ton of bikinis. So I just like robbed my store and all the ones I haven't tried on. Plus there is same styles, multiple colors. On a few of these videos, um, you might see a few of the same suits, but what I'm trying to do is gather together collections that could be useful for women as well, not just for your eyes. Men is what I'm talking about. So if there's women interested in actually physically purchasing my swimsuits, this video could help them. So could the fall swimsuits and so could the Christmas swimsuits. So please don't get pissed off <laughs> when you uh, see maybe one or two of the same suits um, in each collection that I decide to try on. Because please 
you have to remember, I'm not doing try-on hauls because I purchased a bunch of suits from Sheen or Cupshe or Fashion Nova. I also don't receive free swimsuits from these companies. I have built a business from the ground up and purchased, wholesaled, hand sewn these swimsuits. So you have to understand that I don't have the luxury and availability of hundreds of suits every month to try on. Thankfully, I have my own swimsuits um, that I have hand created for my business. And I love every design that I put on my shelves and sell. So just know that is what is happening. So all right, the first suit, which one? I think let's go with the glittery sparkly ones. I have a few colors in these ones. Alright, so I tried this one on. It is a little tight in the hips. I am wearing a large, so I did not make these in an extra large. They are super sparkly and have these triple sides that I like to call triple threat. It has these cute ruffles underneath the boobs cute little ruffles. I feel like my boobs kind of suffocate that ruffle. They don't really get to be seen because um, they're heavy, but maybe on smaller boobs. And usually is such great sunlight right in this window. Um, so I also kept the padding. I usually take the padding out, but I kept it in this one um, just because I took it off the rack. Um, so here's the butt of this. So this strap keeps rolling. Um, it won't stay up on me. So of course, I probably personally wouldn't wear this suit um, for myself. And the top is adjustable from this little strap in the back, but you cannot, um, so it's like on a slider. You can't adjust behind the neck, just behind the back. Um, and then we'll vote which color looked the best on me. Here is the teal. So teal is usually like my favorite color, um, but it is a little pale on me. It kind of washes me out. And what do we think about the teal color? These, of course, are adjustable with, <laughs> with pads, adjustable. Next, the pink is so much tighter, so it must have been sewn it's tight um, and the bottom the, or the top is not tighter I'm just trying to tie it but these bottoms are definitely tighter on me like like wait a minute. This is darker than the teal one. And the bottoms fit about the same. And it has padding in it, but it has such pretty sparkles. Like you see this padding. I know it's silly. So like a teddy bear stuffing, which is pillow stuffing that you can just purchase at like a craft store and um, put it inside so what color let's see what color do we like the most i think you guys love the butt jiggle <laughs> so yeah 
so pretty. I love it. I don't know if I'd wear it out though to um, a beach, just too tight for me. And it's not very, um, does not hold me in at all. Stuff would fall out. Although you guys may like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, get yourself one of these on the website right here. Woo! So since we ended with blue, we're going to start with blue. This is a one piece and I'm going to try it on. It is very small. I mean, it doesn't look small, but when you have this thing hungry, as a hungry peach could be, it's going to nibble this bottom up. Um, so that's why I have called this haul the tiny bikini haul, um, mostly because I'm a bigger woman for one, and these bikinis are a little snug, which I know you all just love when I prance around. <laughs> um, and then I have a yellow and a white. Here it is. Ah. So usually when a seam flips like that, it usually means that it's too tight. It's being stretched beyond its means and it rolls. Um, so I don't know, obviously it's my boobs. Um, so if that ever happens on your swimsuits, that is why, because the seam is being pulled too tight. You can, you can see that. So trying to keep it flipped in for the duration of this video. My favorite is the rouging right here. Um, definitely, it's just like a hold me tight and suck that in. But I'm like killing it in this. This is so cute. So cute in this. The butt is about the same as the front. Um, like size wise, but it is flipping as well. Um, also, I have a really long torso. It is pulling on the seam for sure. So like the white suit wouldn't be a big deal. And honestly, if you don't care, you don't care. But yeah, this is, I think this one is gonna be my favorite color anyway, only cause white. Um, kind of washes me out. I don't have a tan right now. And the yellow is going to wash me out as well. So. Yeah. So sexy. And I knew that white would look gorgeous. Um, the issue is it's a little see-through. <laughs> So I took the padding out and you can see the, well, not only my nipple, but you can see the hole where the padding goes. And that's how white I am right now is you can see all of my veins. That's how pasty white I am, you all. <laughs> so um, these pads, if I go ahead and put these pads in, then you see this ugly rippled uh, padded pad so I don't know which is better honestly um, I'd be curious to see though once this gets wet I'm gonna have to lift the girls because um, you want it them your boobies to be above the rouging and this does ride high up on the hip which I think looks so good on me I've got big hips you guys um, I got a little bit of chunky chunk some curvy curves so um, yeah, I love how high this goes, honestly. Like, the one piece of butt, for sure. How's that lighting? How's the lighting? Padding, no padding. Probably no padding, right, you guys? Like, no padding, so keep that padding out. I don't know, comment below. Nipples are nipples, like you go, like, you know what I mean? Like free, free those nipples, okay? But who cares about the nipples, right? Like this part I think is actually so much uglier than 
a conservative person seeing my nippy nips because we all have them. We all have fucking nipples. Just, okay, guys, let's get over it. We've all got nipples. So just free them. Here's the best lighting in the house. Oh my gosh. So we're running um, with the same issues with this bright yellow one and it is so fire. If I had a tan, this one would look so good, y'all. I make a lot of my suits reversible um, because I don't use padding in my suits because they're reversible. There needs to be a hole or an entryway to put those um, padding. Um, but you can see already like how thin that fabric is. And this is a manufactured suit. So, I mean, we can totally tell. Um, if you had nipple rings, you would, um, like, I mean, you can see where I'm placing. And those are the things as a boutique owner as well that I, I trial and error. So I test out suits. I buy samples from the manufacturers first, buy the sample in my size and wear it. I have sample piece usually in my size when I'm manufacturing it. Try it out, swim in it, wash it, like do all those things. And if I still like it at the end of all of that, that's when I buy a bulk order of the suits and put them on my rack. This particular suit and style, I did not do a sample of because um, my last booth, I was running short on in stock swimsuits. And I know the specific time frame it takes for manufactured suits to get to me. And then I have some that are private labeled, of course, um, takes a little bit more time for them to sew in the tags. But like, it is still really cute. All right, so I had a few more sitting right here, but I honestly just tried on like seven. And I think that this video is getting long enough. So I'm gonna save the next set for the next video so I can upload like more regularly and have like more uploads for you guys rather than like 30 minute videos. So here's a little bit closer look at this yellow one and my bug bites and my veiny untanned boobs. <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for joining me again it was 84 degrees in here when i came in so i was so hot and that's why i just keep like flipping my hair and then trying on swimsuits like it's exhausting it's a workout for sure so i'm panting i'm hot i'm gonna go get some lunch and do some business stuff you guys but thank you for joining me comment below which was your favorite color for sure See you later.